Hello everyone, I'm White Legs Leader, Muggle Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues playing as, of course, the White Legs. So, we are currently at war with Tarwalkers. Last time we took out Ripe World Territory, the Dream Keepers, and we declared war on these fellows over here, the people who like bathing in tar. However, before we continue on, I must alert you to a couple of decisions. So, interactions with the followers. The followers of the apocalypse are causing problems for us. They demand demilitarization. They don't like it that we have, in some places, more than two arms workshops in a single state. Yeah, they really don't like war. So, by resisting this specific demand, if I, if I do not click on this decision, the followers will stop asking for this specific reduction, which means we are going to lose two civilian workshops 10% war support, which really sucks, and political power, which is, eh, that's okay. But they also want an end to slavery. What? What? We love slaves. We love our slaves. And by resisting their demands, the followers will stop asking for this specific reduction, which will lose 5% war support, 5% stability, and 40 political power. Now, I know stability and war support, you can always get more and more, but that still kind of hurts us in the middle of a war. So, let's go ahead and try to finish finish this war up and I can still buy slaves also currently when I'm recording this apparently the gunrunners stuff to buy weapons a little bugged whatever it's a good thing we don't really need them so and we do get about 55 57 ish uh, caps a month so not bad Ooh, where are you guys going oh you're going over there that's actually not a bad idea if if I may interject dis divisions salt upon freeze warband freeze fries very nice very nice I'm going to let you guys just kind of wrap that area up. I'm going to let you guys do the same thing up here. So, you guys are just going to move on in. And you can help out. You got eight. Um, tower walkers. Kind of interesting. Kind of weird. Kind of like them. Oh, bloody anteater. Oh, yeah, you still have all those up there. Um, Yeah, definitely not doing that. Out of supply, power armor, whatever. Take the next capital, Junction. And we do want to get more manpower. Like, that's the only reason why I really kept them here. Because they give us more monthly population, which is very nice. So, let's we'll wait and see. But right now, able body tribesmen, first sons and daughters. That does, definitely hurts us. Economy discouraged traders, outside traders at least. Raider conscripts. Ah, tar walkers. Thank you. I could puppet you, I think, but... I don't think I get any good decisions to do that. And I want your factories. Beautiful. Awesome. Yes, I know the... And these guys, the followers don't like it that we took the territory. I don't really care. So we got plenty of infantry equipment, demo equipment. So we even have support robots. Nice. And support equipment. Let's see. They still want to piss us off. Whatever. Research speed. Building slot isn't bad. Do we need more water? No, we don't. We got 26 water. Wow, that's actually quite a bit. Do that, do that, until I can research some more stuff so I can actually get, use it. Ah, uh, decisions though. Militarized society. Lose stability for war support. Uh, I need just, like, war support and stuff like that in general. Which we can't do quite right now, so... Economic advisors, trade laws, infrastructure, civilian stuff. Arms, a lobbyist. How many men do we... We recruit 33 a month. That's not bad. We're still mobilizing, but that's not bad. Frontier. Ooh, that was really good. I want to still do that. Attack. Lust defense. Um, cultural advisor. Experience soldier lost. More war support and research speed. Peaceful origins. I kind of like the war support and research speed. That kind of sounds like it's kind of nice. What is this? Pre-war designs. Huh. Air technology and re reconnaissance. Interesting. Uh... Non less planning speed is fine. I really don't care about planning speed. Ooh, that's not bad for more war support and stability. Usually, if if I was going to play like a strict white legs run, I would go with no outsiders because, to my knowledge, white legs they don't like outsiders. They're, they will literally kill anyone or fight anyone who they don't know or disagree with. So, but but that being said, I don't really want to lower my stability, but I don't mind getting more non-core manpower. Ooh, I did want to get rid of this. Ooh, actually, can we get to the next level? Mercenary training instruction, so more division organization, less training time. Just five, just five war goals times. Better just five war goals times, and a little bit more organization. We lose a training time. 
one percent more organization really isn't worth it, and three percent more just by war goals times. More daily political power, military leader cost. I'm not really sure. There's so many options, but they're not like all super amazing. You know what? Mm, just come down here. Give me the shaman. Give me war war support for now. And research speed. That just does kind of help out as well a little bit because we only have three research slots. Not great. But currently we're doing break the clock. I want to try to go independent with this white legs run. Break the clock. I don't want to go with democracy with like the yeah, that doesn't sound like fun. I don't want to go under Kaisar. I want to be independent. And then we can do Lords of the Tar or the Clock Chimes of Midnight. Handle the 80s. Highway to Hell. Interesting. 2277, guys. Let's get some more research speed. That'll be important. And I just realized I have the a massive border with the 80s. Hmm. Cost of manpower and training queue. 50%. So be it. Oh, we definitely need more manpower. Oh my god. Throw in one more thing in demolitions. And that will kill my manpower. Yep, that just killed my manpower. We're still mobilizing just a little bit, but it's still not much. Tracking dogs, awesome. Quadrant searching. Oh, and I can't go over here, darn it. More monthly population then. And this is the case. Do that. Oh, no. Oh god, I need so many more divisions for this. Rooted, ninja. Um, we can wait on that. Yeah, I definitely need more divisions. Holy cow. There's so many holes here. One, two, one, two, three. I'm going to be spread extremely thinly. And I don't have enough divisions to guard <laughs> all the territory that I took already. Oh, man, that's not cool. So, I'm going to need your divisions out immediately. You guys are doing okay. You guys are doing okay. Oh, where'd we go? Hello. But we're looking pretty good. 41 factories, not bad. It looks like we already took the war support hit. Kaiser's Legion declared war on Twin Mothers. That's all right. And good. That's done. <clears throat> We've taken the hits. We'll be okay. So I really don't know. Like it says, every 200 slaves, this perk will become more valuable. Like, do we? I guess we get more money. I would assume we. Oh, Seraph Lords declared war on the Shoshone Nation, but we get probably get more money. Probably starts at 25, modified by 100%, probably from slaves. Doesn't exactly tell you though. Hmm. Amount. Um. Chiquitas, current inventory, the biggest and the strongest slaves, which looks like a tire iron amount, 1180. Wow. Break the clock. Cool. I could get more manpower, which we're still mobilizing a little bit. What do we want to do? Enslave the tar walkers, which we get 500 slaves. Do we get tar waifus? That sounds awesome. I like that. And the lords of the tar. What does that one do? Take their lands and Brahmin for our own? Salt upon wounds is no fool. To conquer the tar walkers is one thing, but you cannot rule from a throne of skulls. No, as a show of good faith, the warriors of the White Legs shall take the wives from the tar walkers, and these women will teach us how to farm the bounty of the tar walkers. Now, New Canaan doesn't like that. The Lords of the Tar doesn't do anything against New Canaan, and this really pisses off New Canaan. The Legion will gladly take these new slaves off our hands. We can trade the men, women, and children for the finest goods of the wastes. Um. I like this. I want the tar. I want the tar wives. That sounds awesome. Give me some sticky tar wives. Ooh. Let's see which way. Actually, how do we focus on some of the stuff down here? So we get eventually home in the ruins. Handle the eighties using the tar. That's good. And bell up those of the book against crazy horns. Ashes to ashes, salt to salt against New Canaan. Betray the eighties. We'll unlock a war goal against the 80s when they are at war. Fools. The angels, which looks pretty good. Or the devils, which give us a bonus against them for 90 days. New Canaan becomes a core. And then we can do Chief of Utah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We can actually do this already? A friend of the Legion. Oh, these are mutually exclusive? Ooh. More than 25% support for, for the people. Huh. 
I don't think that... I thought this was mutually exclusive. That's actually kind of cool. Legion training? Um... That's not bad. Salt upon the earth. 25%. How much support do we have? We have 20, 49 and then 40. That's not bad. I might just do some of the Legion stuff earlier on. Just because we get political power, which gives us basically a new minister. Then we can get supply consumption and more attack. Firearms. Aid from them. More political power. The land doctrine stuff. So good. Good. We get rec uh, reconnaissance for our infantry too. The gang. Less combat with, which is nice. But I also got to keep in mind... Oh, we're out of manpower. That, uh... I forget what I was going to say. I forget what I was going to say. Oh, whatever. Another building slot. More research speed. Another bonus for medical stuff. That's not bad. What about the scavenging program? I know since the update they've changed changed this. But that does give us minus 50 manpower, which I really don't like. Hmm. Can we do any other minister stuff first? Oracle, planning speed, attack, defense, supply consumption. Slavery. Rely on slaves. Ooh, pre-war designs. Yeah, I already checked on that earlier. Economic advisors. Well, how many factories do we have? We don't even have one good run yet of factories. Which is kind of disappointing. Oh, for, uh, we have five taken away. You know what? Would be really good. More construction speed is always nice for civilian stuff. But just give me more for now. There you go. Now we actually have some more stuff going on, too. That's really good. I'd love to get radar, but we're just too stupid to do that. Mm, how many divisions does the 80s have? Eyes along the road. They also have the followers. Good. They have a lot more manpower. They have more divisions than us. Probably. Probably. Which isn't ideal, but just keep making more babies, guys. And I, I still can core territory that we don't own as cores, which is nice. For example, City 318, I kind of want to core that. It costs a lot of political power. It's probably not worth it, but whatever. Ooh, Twin Brothers was annexed. Good. What is New Canaan up to? I did take away their tar walkers, so... Tribal Reliance. And I do want to take out the Crazy Horns eventually, just because, well... O Octanius. Huh. It's a shaman. They like the rulers. Ooh, the tar wives. Ah, we now have wives, guys. Now. Oh, I joined the Legion's Research Pact. I don't kind of like that. Ooh, I get attack and defense. That's actually not too bad. Supply consumption. Additional warriors come fight for us. Oh, handle the 80s. Highway to hell. The 80s have troubled us for too long, but they also stand between us and New Canaan. We need to deal with them one way or another. Hmm, reject Legion's coins. Slave raids for Flagstaff. I don't want to piss off New Canaan too much. I like this, though. Give me that land auction for now, because I could really, really use it. Our men leave Kaiser service as something for far better than the warriors they left as. They return as soldiers, yes. We become more oligarchic, but that's only 40%. This will lower our elite strength for now, so we got to keep an eye on that. We need to become much more autocratic. Somehow. Somehow. Which will help if we just go with salt upon the wounds, so. Cool. Another division? Awesome. Good. You gotta hold the line, man. Bloody Anteater, does Dar have anything for us? No, she does not. That's a little disappointing, but that's okay. There goes Mojave Raiders. They really didn't have a chance. I'm gonna set upgrades to be medium, just because... There's really no point to not have them up there. We have enough supply of everything anyways. Scavenging. Ooh, 101 political power. Medical chem te technology. I really need medical chem technology. But, do we already have that? We already have a small bonus for it, I think. Yeah. Let's see, check over here. Agri development. That's not bad. Mmm... Slave conscripts. Petty criminal conscripts. No undesirables. Homicidal. So we currently get minus 6%. I need more. You know what? Go ahead and go with mercenary training. That'll be okay for now. I mean, we do get like 
1.9 political power a day, which is really nice. Ooh, plant cultivation. Awesome. We're running out of things we can really do here. Cap and growth. Well, we're already doing pretty darn well on everything that we have. Land doctrine's coming along. Let's get some Yao Guai gauntlets. Ooh, that sounds like fun. They actually updated that too. Nice. And I do have a cup of uh, White Legs Coffee here. So, can we get some Deathclaw, like, guns or Deathclaw hands or something? That'd be kind of cool. Maybe not. Power Weaponry Rebar Club. Uh-oh, what's going on? Okay. Just more money. And you know what? We're going to get more money anyways. 50 more slaves. We have 292. Not enough. Actually, we only get one a month. With 292 slaves, like, you think you get at least two more? Like, maybe the slaves would get it on and they can make a couple babies, but, you know, I guess not. Troll War and Declare War on the Seraph Lords. I really hope that the 80s go to war with somebody. Oh, God. The Troll War have definitely chosen the right time to go to war with the Seraph Lords. Ooh. Ooh. That's not good for them. Good. Just give me the money. Keep Hand over the money. Um, give me that medical attack, too. Vacuum tubes. Awesome. Let's go ahead and grab some of this. Thank you. Two more divisions? Awesome. And throw you both right there. And we're out of manpower. Of course. Not bad. Not bad. More research speed. Agricultural experts. I wonder. Because when we had those decisions with the followers and they didn't like us going to war, it said you could lower the influence of the followers, but we don't really have a place for us to lower their influence. And now we're going to... What are we going to do? We could betray the 80s, but let's handle the 80s. See what happens. The 80s have troubled us for too long, but they also stand between us and New Canaan. We need to deal with them one way or another. I know. I don't want to go to war. I think we have enough divisions now that we will be okay defending against them. They don't have a ton of divisions. They're kind of training. We should be okay if we go to war with them, but you never know. You really never know. Um, keep just keeping an eye on things. Current net sixty three. Yeah, they must just give us more man, more uh, money. And we have another hundred political power already. Great. Oh, Guerra's conviction. Good luck with that, Presidente. Freedom of speech. Yeah, no, 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 no freedom of speech here. Infrastructure. I mean, this stuff is okay. I don't mind lowering my political power, just maybe by a little bit, for a slightly better... Yeah, you don't really get that much immediate stuff. You could get more super mutants, but I don't have manpower for that. Outside volunteers. No outsiders. Stability goes down by 1%. I can afford that. Oh, there you go. An immediate 115 guys. That's not bad. Not bad. 39 more a month, which isn't very much at all. And we have the gang. Next up, we're going to have more... Oh, good. More breakthrough. That's going to be really good. Hmm. Savages. Savages. Awesome. Keep building up stuff, guys. You're doing a great job. Uh, really? I mean, we're tribal. We can't make that much. And we're doing okay with everything that we're making currently. So, I'm not saying that we are okay with what we're producing for now. Maybe in time I'll just like build up more forts. I don't know what's really going to happen. I'm gonna keep building up more civilian factories and stuff like that, but hmm, I just don't know. Dynamite. Let's get some better dynamite. Let's get some explosives or set people on fire. I think the white legs might want to set people on fire. Let's try that. And this is going to kill my manpower off once again. But should save us a, just a tiny bit more manpower. Just a tiny bit more manpower, at least. Yep. Go ahead and start training. Mm. You might as well train as well. I mean, they've got no, really nothing else to do, so... Let's see. 1.9 still. Pretty good. Pretty good. Handle the 80s. How far are we with that? Doing very well on that. We're going to get more money. Awesome. 345 slaves. Oh, handle the 80s. Let's go ahead and 
Nah, I'll keep training for now. So, the highway to hell. The 80s have been a thorn in our side for too long, but now they stand in the way of our destiny. Jericho would give us a way to descend upon the Canaanites while they were ill-prepared. Salt upon wounds must decide how to get control of this vital territory. Fortunately, it seems that the 80s are preparing for the great road trip, their epic plan, to retake their home from the NCR. They may be willing to part with this desolate strip of land. Promise the 80s loot, loot, when we conquer New Canaan. Trade? I think you forget how many warriors we have. Start a border war to seize the territory. Vault 24 and Jericho. Is this... Oh, that's Jericho. Ooh, who's that? Noman tribes. Trade goods for the land. I lose political power, and I can offer them gifts. Uh, we get a little bit more man... Just, like, barely any more manpower. Loot? I can give them loot. Or just take away my political power. Uh, you can just take away my political power. I offer you gifts. And they spurn us. They refuse to turn over Jericho and has dragged our messengers behind the, his car as a sign of his lack of respect. He has refused our lack, our generous offer and insulted the guest right. Okay, stop training then. We will lash, slash his tires and light the fires. We will do this border war stuff, but, oh, we might not win there. I don't like that. That, that doesn't, that's really not good for us. So, uh, 60 days, 60 days, betray the 80s. Ashes to ashes, salt to salt. It really depends on what people are doing. White legs. I don't mind taking out the white legs first because they're like down here and they're not part of the Mormon Alliance yet. No, they're independent. And if they're continually independent, that does open up a new way for us to attack from here. I don't know. I don't know how the Mormons react to stuff. I don't know their focus tree. Drawing a line in the sand. What is that for? Oh, guarantee the oh, Never mind. Never mind. Not going to go to war with them. It's a good thing you check the focus trees though. This tribe did have a Mormon mission to help their industry prepare for war. Honestly, it seems like the longer we wait to go to war with the Mormons, the stronger they will get. What am I? Hmm. Medics of the Lord. Huh. Well, let's give our guys a little bit more time to get their organization up first. So, sell animal skins. Using the tar, ashes to ashes, salt to salt. Let's go ahead and do that. The Mormons have called us barbarians for too long. They've cut off trade and demanded we bow to the god. We shall see who bows when salt upon wounds stands in the ruins of their temple. Oops. There you go. Uh-oh, two decisions. That does not sound good. Oh, that's the other one. Good. We have 11 days, 10 days. We have no manpower. God dang it. How strong are these divisions? They've motorized, but they're just motorized. Uh, they have some demo teams on those motorized, which isn't ideal. I, I wanted to give them gifts. I will literally buy stuff off of you, but you say no. Why? Uh, just by world stones, army XP. I mean, army XP is okay. Get... Yeah, this stuff is okay. Let's go and just get more defense and core territory and max entrenchment. I like the entrenchment. It doesn't help us that much right now. But it might just help us in this border war or defending whenever... Ooh, we got a lot of divisions right there. Very nice. Good. And we immediately start a border war, which is not going to probably do very well for us. Yeah. We're going to probably lose this border war right here. Or not. Yao Guai Gauntlet's awesome. Rebar Club. Can't do that quite yet. Better division training time. Scout kits. Those are, those are okay. I'm going to keep using my other guys. Yes. My super mutants. Actually, we might win here. Huh. Yeah, go suck it, 80s. Suck on my demo companies. Oh, okay. Chase's Ravens falls ill. I said Chaos Ravens. That'd be kind of cool. The Walls of Jericho. We have seized Jericho from the 80s. Who will stand against us now? Go suck a fat one. <laughs> oh, man. Awesome, and that actually spares up two more divisions. Now, I don't want to go to war with these guys. If I go to war with New Canaan, we might end up in a war against the 80s. And I'm sure they have a focus for me taking the Jericho away. Long road home. Wisdom of youth. Right for the taking. Claims territories for the right world territory. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. It seems like they want to go to war with us. You know what? It might just be better if I take them out now and then focus on New Canaan. That actually might be the best thing that we can do right now. We did take away one piece of their territory, which is very nice. Very, very nice. Ooh, and, oh, the Seraph Lords, no! 
They have way more manpower, though. But we've got quite a few divisions as well, so I'm not too worried about that. As long as we properly defend, that's what really matters. One division per province probably isn't ideal, but whatever. Uh, over here, it's okay. Yeah, I'd probably defend that territory, too. 1.9. I might just save just a little bit more political power so I can, like, core this tile. It's not... There's not a lot of guys here, but it's not bad. 11,000 isn't bad. I mean, over here is like 700, which isn't good. Cricket Mountains, not that good. Parowan, it's okay. Vault 24 is what I would love to core, though, which means I have to go through here first. I only got 78. And we only get 12, but you know what? To get to Vault 24 for that much more manpower, yeah, that's just a stepping stone. Cool. So we will want to go to war with the 80s and then go to war with New Canaan, which will make them stronger in the end, but whatever. It is it is what it is. And then th we can go to war with New Canaan after doing this, which would be great. Ashes to ashes, salt to salt. Betray the 80s. Although we have broken bread with the 80s, salt upon wounds shall not be dissuaded from war by anything as minor as a pledge of eternity. Oh, of eternal peace. War goal against them. Good. Like, they didn't want us to have Jericho. What can I do? What do? Mm. Purchase slaves. Good stuff, good stuff. Bet I mean, we're not really betraying the 80s. They, like, they didn't like us. And they drag dragged our messengers behind their car. Like, guys, come on. That's not cool. Ooh, flamethrowers. Nice. Very nice. I like to throw more stuff on my divisions, but I can't really afford it now. Land auction's coming along. This stuff is, well, it is what it is. Get some better reinforced rate, that'd be good. Mm. As long as we can defend properly, that's all I really care about. Throw you right here for now. And get some better flamethrowers. Nice. Do you want to keep 1.9 political power a day just because I need this territory cord? I need it. I could raise my conscription, but... I really don't like how little manpower you get now. 10%? You might go up to 15 and then 20%? I don't know. I just need more. Hmm. Hmm. This doesn't look good. This really doesn't look good. Oh, refined mixture. That looks good, though. Tasty. Specialized doctrines. Not really worth it. Naval stuff, not really worth it for us. Engineering, we're pretty much done with engineering for now. Super Mutant Auxiliaries, there's nothing we can really do. Division training time, sure. Animal Observations, great. More Breakthrough, and then we will get, get, get Night Stalker Tactics. More Recovery Rate, Ice Supply, Effective Partisans. Maybe we should have went with Conventional Warfare for 5% more manpower. I probably should have done that instead, but whatever. Oh, wait. What? Return Disputed Territories. No, go to hell. Actually, let them go to war with me. Yeah, you come declare war on me so I don't get an offensive war penalty. Ultimatum deadline. They probably will. Oh, there goes NCR. Oh, what's this? Agriculture helps settlements for more monthly population. I like that. Even though it really probably really isn't worth it. Spending all that political power for this. I mean, you only get 41 a month. 214 civilians are born in states. That's still not very much. Oh, wait. Request followers aid. We get support equipment. Oh, that's kind of cool. Reminds me of the decision when I was playing as Ching China on this channel in Kaiserreich. And you could ask Austria for some more um, stuff. Or Denmark or something. Like that. But I definitely want to core Vault 24. Actually, no. Wait, what am I doing? I get a, I get a focus for that. I'm not going to do that. Thank God I remember, remember that. I might as well just core 318 if I can. From the Grabber Territory. Because that's part of our focus. NCR Rangers join the NCR, alright. Because, yeah. There's that. The Tar Walkers, New Nephi. The Angels or Demons. I need to be at war with them. The honor of the Bull. Kaisar has continued to shower us with favors. If we promise to work towards his ends in Utah, we will receive more soldiers to train our warriors. Why would we ever say no? Oh. White legs except. Never. Um. Okay, so here's the thing. If I say no, which I probably will say no, then the 80s might join Kaisar's Legion. Maybe. I don't know. And so it looks like someone has jacked up the price over here. 
But, uh, I want to be independent, so never. Yeah, sure. And how many more days we got for this? Oops. Not that much longer to betray the 80s. Let's drills. We're going to get more money. Awesome. Oh, we stopped building stuff, too. Uh, you know what? You know, just in case, just start building a few forts around here. Just, just a wee bit. Build it right there, and then... Da, da. There you go. That'd be nice. Happy 2278. What is Kaiser up to? Did they change his focus, or has a decision... Oh, lick the wounds. Oh, they already, they've already done War for Hoover Dam, the burn man. Uh-oh. New Canaan just got the Prodigal Sun Returns. Oh, ooh. That's not bueno for us. That's really not bueno. Pale Folk are actually winning against Vault City. Betray the 80s. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and core the clock chimes at midnight. No longer will the clock watchers wait for the end of days. For many of them, it's already arrived. And right now, keep an eye on this. 54% for elite stuff. So I can still do some decisions or some focuses for Kaiser, which is kind of nice. Now I won't get a lot of political power or manpower. Ooh. 171, that's not cool. Come on, come on. 2.9 political power a day. We get 800. Wow, that really wasn't worth it. But that did help in the... Just for just a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, go buy me some more slaves. If I go to war with them, I'll probably have to end up in a defensive war for quite a while. Uh, Heroes of the Rifle Campaign. The 80s have a war go against them. Take from White Legs. Alright, so they're not going to go to war with me yet. I don't mind if I go to war with them. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we need our war goal against them. Come on. Wait. Unlock a war goal against the 80s when they are, when they are at war. Oh, when they are at war. Okay. Hmm. Envelop those of the book. Please go to war, 80s. Please go to war. They're guaranteeing those guys. We can go to war with New Canaan. Hmm. I don't know. If I go to war with them, then the 80s will go to war with us. So we're kind of stuck in a hard place, basically. Really not ideal. Ooh, and they cut Vault City in half. Interesting. As we are slowly, slowly building ourselves up. Um, 18 combat width. You guys are only 18.4 combat width, which is kind of nice. And that makes you like that. I might have to take off one of these demo companies just so that I can fit in some more infantry. There you go. You lose some soft attack, but you get better stats overall, which isn't bad, but... Hmm. A little bit unsettling. The fall of Vault City? Nice. For the first citizen, Lynette, Vault City is everything. Very much so. Alright, so how much closer are they... Oh, retaking the road. Ooh, good. Yeah, retaking the road. Good. What, what does that do? Oh, they just get infrastructure. Come on, man. Heroes, way of the road, warriors. The clock chimes at midnight. Good, good. We get more money. Awesome. Welcome to Happy Trails Caravan Company. I'm going to do this just because we get more... Oh, but maybe not. Hmm, salt upon the wounds. We get more political power. Oligarchy. Division attack. Strong spears. Hmm. I'm going to wait to do that. Let's go ahead and try something different. Salt upon the earth. None can beat salt upon wounds in combat. Aware of the changes facing his people, he envisions a radical restructuring of the White Legs' way of fighting to prepare. That'll be good. Give me more money. Give me more slaves. Make me feel better. And continue building up our places here. 30%, 50%. Nice. Put you at the top. That'll be important. What is New Canaan up to? We're probably going to fight one heck of a big... Oh, preach ho oh, preach holy war. Huh. Alright, provide direct assistance. Kaiser's right-hand man. His current leader. The war for heaven. Oh, you have to be at war with me for this to happen, so the longer I don't go to war with you, you can't do this focus. Oh, we can lock them out of doing their focuses. Nice. And then we can do... What is this? More soft attack and speed? Well, soft attack is a... Well, speed is okay. 
Soft attack is kind of meh. Oh, militia training. Awesome. Rebar. I want that rebar. Give me more defense. I like defense. Mm. Military high command. Out of supply. Well, there's really not much we can do. Cars, stuff like that. Energy. Power armor. Greasers. Cool. That's kind of cool. Infrastructure concern, huh? Ooh, primitive radio. Awesome. Captain of industry. I am building up quite a few civilian factories. You know what? Go ahead and hurt me. Give me... We lose organization. More recruitable population factor. Oh! Look at all that manpower we have. Holy cow. Slave conscripts. More war support, which is kind of nice. Reduces slave capture multiplier by two. Oh, I didn't realize that. There's not a raider nation. Not a raider nation. Oh, I didn't realize that we could reduce slave capture multiplier by two. Dangling the prospect of freedom and glory to any slaves willing to fight for the cause will help bolster our ranks. We must be careful not to equip them with anything too dangerous. Though. This sounds like this could really hurt us in the end. If we have too many slaves? So I'm, I'm going to shy away from that for now. Uh, I will go ahead and get outside battalions. So that sounds pretty good to me. Oh, and we have this. Awesome. Let's go. Oh, we're out. We're done with our engineering industry. I mean, yeah, I could do that. But there's really no point for me to do that. Support stuff. Um, we're okay on all that stuff. Land doctrine. I mean, it's we're running out of things to research already. Just give me a, a flying machine or something. That's a that's a good amount of manpower. I like that. With that with that in mind, though, uh, let's go ahead and raise this. Give me that. I I don't like removing infantry or demo companies because I really really love demo companies. We lose more breakthrough. We lose heart attack. We still lose almost seven soft attack, but we get. 45 more HP, which is good. 8 more organization, which is good. Better recovery rate, barely. More recon, which is okay. Uh, it just kind of fits that way. So, unfortunately, I have to do it like that. Like claws. You know what I could do? I want more super mutants. Wait, before we end our episode, how many super mutants can we have? 18 out of the 39 allowed. If we double out, that's 36. Can I make these... I can't make these 40 combat with. God dang it. That'd be really cool. That would have been really cool. But we're going to make our divisions bigger and stronger for now. But, unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for today, my friends. We finished off the Tar Walkers. We took their women as wives. And we're pretty much planning to attack either the 80s or New Canaan, depending on what they do. And actually, you know what? What are the Sky Reavers doing? How about we... We can maybe just find them. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Why not? Who cares? Anyways, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we will continue to see if we can expand. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.